Station Region 15 and Queensboro promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directed to officials, student athletes, coaches, or a team representative will not be tolerated in our grounds for the removal from the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Bronx Community College Lady Broncos. Number three, Anne Mary Blanco. Number 12, Dore Murray. Number two, Quanique Sanabria. Number 11, Tylacia Davis. And number 13, Soliman Aquino. The assistant coaches for the Broncos, Jasmine Cruz, Lakina Bryant, the head coach is Pete Cepeda. And now the starting lineup for your very own Queensboro Community College Lady Tigers. From Manhattan High School, at guard number 15, Nyasia Irby. From Young Women's High School, at guard number 55, Anne Marie Johnson. From John Adams High School, at guard number 24, Shantana Panoy. From Newtown High School, at guard number 31, Elise Langley. From Martin Van Buren High School, at guard number 20, Giselle Pritis. The assistant coach is Teresa Rodriguez. The associate head coach is Lakeisha Harris. Your head coach is David Chambers. This is QCC alum David Russell, Bronx Broncos about to take on the Queensboro Tigers. Broncos looking for their first ever win against the Lady Tigers. Starting five for Bronx, Quinique Sanabria, Anis Mary Blanco, Tylesha Davis, Dore Murray, and Sully Mara Aquino. Starting five for Queensboro, Naisha Irby, Giselle Prentice, Shantana Kanoy, Elise Langley, and Dan Marie Johnson. Queensboro in those white jerseys, Bronx in the green. <laughs> Queensboro was third in the CUNY Conference, Bronx is fifth. Out of five. Opening tip. Loose ball, it's won by Bronx. You also remember these games are more important because they canceled the CUNY playing game this year as that shot is off and rebounded by Kanoi. The shot was taken by Soli Maruquino. There is no four versus five game this year. There's only one versus four and two versus three. Pass inside is intercepted. Prentice telegraphed it a bit. Aquino with the ball for Bronx. N now Santa Brea puts up the jumper, it's no good. Loose ball and Aquino with it for the Broncos. And puts it in off glass, not quite. And Irby with it. Prentice. Queensboro looking for the first points. Kanoi back to Prentice. Langley swings it to Prentice. Kanoi for three. No good. And now DeRay Murray with it for Bronx. Murray doubled. Prentice got the hand in on it. Bronx keeps it. 25 on the shot clock. Broncos looking for the first points of the game. Santa Bria being guarded by Langley. Gets it inside, good defense by Johnson. Kanoi pushing it. Kanoi going to the basket and puts it in. First points of the game by Shantana Kanoi. It's two nothing Queensboro. Inside, Bronx trying to answer back, couldn't. Kanoi with the ball. Kanoi up ahead to Prentice. Prentice is fouled. Foul is on DeRay Murray. That's Murray's first foul, team's first. Two shots for Prentice.
Three nothing. Looking to sink both. And does. It's four nothing Queensboro. Prentice makes her free throws. Broncos looking to get on the board. DeRay Murray being guarded by Irby. Davis's jumper is too long. Got the hand in. Jumper no good. And Bronx comes away with it. It's Anna's from Mary Blanco. And Blanco is fouled. Foul is on Shantana Kanoi. Two shot foul. Blanco, one of the few returning players from last year. Makes the first. Blanco averaging a shade over 13 points per game for the Lady Broncos. More than twice as much as the next nearest teammate as Blanco hits the second and it's 4-2. And Bronx pressing. Prentice to Langley. Bounce pass up ahead to Irby. Irby. Good ball movement. Prentice top of the key. Three pointer is good. Giselle Prentice from downtown. It's 7 2 Queensboro. Queensboro by five. And the pass was deflected. Ball was deflected out. Murray had it knocked away by a Queensboro player. Bronco ball with 23 on the shot clock. Blanco inbounding to Aquino. Blanco, jumper is too strong, but rebounded by Davis. Davis couldn't put it in, Langley with it for Queensboro. Langley to Kanoi, Kanoi to the basket, and lays it in off glass. Nice moves by Kanoi, and it's 9-2 Queensboro. Kanoi second layup. DeRay Murray to Blanco. To Santa Bria, Blanco inside is fouled and she'll get back to the line. And that's Kanoi second. And the second team foul on Queensboro. First is good, it's 9-3. And Kanoi, who had the two nice layups, has to go to the bench less than three minutes into the game. Crystal Santana goes in. Blanco. Couldn't get the friendly roll. Now three for four from the line. 9-3, Queensboro lead. Prentice, very aggressive and a tie-up. Good call by the refs. Possession arrow keeps it with Queensboro. Now the refs have a word. Naisha Irby inbounding. Irby gets it to Langley. Prentice. Nice pass to Santana. Langley. Pass was tipped. Got to Santana, 15 on the shot clock. Prentice, pass inside was knocked away by a Bronco. Good team defense, 11 on the shot clock for Queensboro. Irby, bounce pass to Prentice, jumper. Couldn't get the friendly roll, Irby there for the rebound. Tried to save it in, Prentice had to go through her legs. Prentice is called for traveling. Bronx ball, looking to cut into the six point lead. No field goals in the first three and a half minutes for Bronx, just three free throws from Anis Mary Blanco. Aquino gets it back, Aquino guarded by Johnson, guarded well by Johnson, Blanco is called for traveling.
QCC ball, Langley walking it up. Run it. Looking to extend the six point lead. Santana to Irby. Irby goes baseline right to the basket and puts it in off glass. 11-3. Poor interior defense for the Lady Broncos. They're more concerned with their offense right now. Murray got it to Aquino. Davis inside, shot was blocked by Santana. All ball, Prentice slows up and dribbles out. Long pass to Santana for three, and it's good. Crystal Santana from downtown. 14-3 Queensboro. 30 second timeout taken by the Lady Broncos. And Coach Pete Cepeda, who's in his first year at the helm, replacing Freddie DeJesus. Second year for Lady Broncos basketball. Last year they went 0 23 under Freddie DeJesus. The Nadir came with a 99 point loss at Kingsboro. They lost to Queensboro twice by 39 and 35, excuse me, 45. They're 1 11 this season. Had their first ever win in the program's history at home against Kingsboro. And Bronx and Kingsboro fighting for positioning for four and five in CUNY. Kingsboro's at home tonight, hosting BMCC, who's in first place in the CUNY conference. BMCC, favorite in that game. Murray jumper is good. Nice play out of the timeout. It's 14-5. Langley facing the zone. Prentice to Langley. Prentice, long pass to Santana, faked a three. Irby, the shot was way short. May have been touched by a lady Bronco. Solomari Quano to Blanco. Shot is off, Langley with it. Prentice Versus the ball again. Santana another three, no good. And rebounded by the Lady Broncos. And pushing it, Davis. Back outside, Santa Bria. Air balls a three. And Prentice is there. Prentice. To Santana. Left alone, and puts it in a three. 17-5, Santana with their second three-pointer. They forgot about Santana for some reason. Queensboro leading by a dozen. Aquino nearly kicked it out of bounds then saved it into a teammate. Blanco to Murray, down to seven on the shot clock. Murray's gotta make her move. Three, two, Blanco puts up a shot and it's short. Rebounded by Prentice. No, 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 no. Prentice. Prentice got it to Langley. Still 15 on the shot clock. Santana, as Langley nearly got away with the travel. Langley to Prentice, down to six on the shot clock. Prentice, tough jumper, is off and rebounded by Santa Bria. DeRay Murray pushing it. Murray up ahead to Blanco. And Blanco puts it in off glass. 17-7. Blanco with five early points. Langley. Guarded by Murray. Hands off to Prentice. Swings it. Corner three for Santana is no good. Tip ball. Broncos come away with it. Murray. Murray takes it to the basket and is fouled. Foul is on Anne Marie Johnson. First foul on Johnson, team's third.
Sanabria gets it in. Murray. Murray guarded by Irby. Murray lost the handle on it and threw it right to Prentice. Queensborough ball with numbers. Prentice to Langley. Didn't quite get there and traveling is called. Have to wait for the ref. Now play resumes. Broncos are already inbounded. And the ref said, when I give the signal. Queensboro leading 17-7. Murray doing most of the ball handling the last few possessions. Blanco loses it out of bounds. Good defense by Queensboro. Langley to Santana. Prentice puts up a three and it's no good. Tipped, rebounded by Murray. Murray running on the sideline, nearly lost it. Doubled, got it to Blanco. Bounce pass, now Davis back outside. Blanco floater, just long. Loose ball, chased down by the Broncos. Blanco again, hits a long two. Long two for Blanco, now has seven of the nine points for Bronx. Queensboro leads by eight. Irby. Looking for Santana on the baseline. They got it to her. Santana couldn't put it in. Langley with the rebound, but couldn't put the shot in. Gonzalez puts it in off glass. Ludesi Gonzalez pushes the lead up back up to 10. 19-9, Duray Murray with the ball. Murray, guarded by Irby. Murray, guarded by Irby. Murray, now they switch off. She's guarded by Prentice. Down to seven on the shot clock. Blanco's three is no good. And Irby chases down the rebound. Prentice to Santana. Prentice. Langley puts up a long jumper and it's no good. Tip to Irby. And Irby puts it in. Naija Irby makes it 21 9 halfway through the first. Queensboro's biggest lead. Murray guarded by Irby. Need a few more passes in the last possession. And the pass for Santa Bria is thrown away. Pizza Pater just said, Coach Pizza Pater just said to Murray, do you even know who you're throwing the ball to? Langley with it for Queensboro. Prentice nearly lost it, got it back. Reverses it, Santana to Langley. Back to Santana. Back out, Langley puts up a long two and it rims out. Rebounded by Blanco. Murray. Pass to Blanco, puts up another three. It's no good. Rebounded by Santana. Langley. To Prentice. Prentice thought about the long three. Langley. Bounce pass inside. Moore has her first points. It's 23-9 Queensboro. QCC with its biggest lead of the night. It's up to 14. Murray directing traffic. Launches a long two, it's no good. Rebounded by Gonzalez. Prentice. It's passed to Gonzalez who then threw it right to Blanco. Blanco being guarded by Langley. Santa Bria guarded by Moore. Now back in the hands of DeRay Murray. 
Prentice playing a bit off of her. The pick couldn't help. Now they're down to 10 on the shot clock. Murray puts up another jumper. And Moore with the rebound. Murray, a shooting point guard, been settling for some long jumpers. Langley to Prentice. Langley. Langley puts up an off-balance shot. Rebounded by Gonzalez, no good. Another rebound and lost it to the Broncos. Blanco dribbles out. Blanco and Langley's called for a foul. First on Langley's. First on Langley, team's fourth. Solomar Aquino goes in, and there's a timeout. Full timeout taken by Queensboro. One of the things Bronx Broncos may have to contend with, they only have six players. Only one substitute. See if they run out of steam by the end of the game. They've only scored nine points in the first 12 and a half minutes. They've averaged about 40 points per game in their first 12. They've been better of late. They actually put up 50 points against Queensboro at home, although they lost by 12. Queensboro won in there and won 62-50. Their season high in points actually came in a loss at Kingsboro 64-55. It's the only time all year they hit the 55 point mark. Blanco inbounding, guarded by Langley. One of the Broncos has to come to the ball. And it's Murray. Murray guarded by Prentice. Inside to Blanco. Blanco couldn't put it in. Tip ball. There's your tip drill that you work on. And Murray has it. Down to 17 on the shot clock. Aquino, Blanco had to go through her hands. Queensboro ball with 7-12 to go in the first. Full court press by Bronx. Now some man pressure. They're hoping, they're hoping that they can force the action somehow. You do worry about pressing with only a six-man team. Prentice, worry about running out of energy. His Langley's jumper is no good, tipped. And a foul is called against Queensboro as Santa Bria hit the floor. First foul on Prentice. Murray jogs it up. Prentice guarding her. Murray gets help from Blanco. And Murray, a foul is called on the floor before the shot. Another foul on Langley. Second on Langley and she'll go to the bench for Niaja Irby. Santa Bria gets it into Blanco who puts up the long jumper and it's no good. Santana with it. See if Queensboro would think about doubling Blanco, who's the only real scoring threat for Bronx. Moore back to Prentice. Irby makes her move, lost it. Bronco ball. Queensboro should feel comfortable as long as they don't give too many easy baskets to the Lady Broncos. No points in transition or free throws. Bronx struggling a bit in the half court. 6.05 to go. 
23-9 Queensboro. Found its way to Blanco. Blanco inside and she's fouled. And Blanco will go back to the line. Foul is on Crystal Santana, team seven. Blanco three for four from the line tonight, now four for five. 23 10. Splits the free throws, it's still 23 10. Prentice, Blanco with eight of the 10 points for the Lady Broncos. DeRay Murray with the other two. Prentice, asking for Moore to come to her, does. Moore kick out to Santana. Long two is way short, and the foul is called against Queensboro. One in one situation. Quinique Santabria looking for her first points. Short on the first and rebounded by Moore. Prentice will bring it up. Santana back to Prentice. Moore, Prentice down to 15. Love passing on the outside. Now Santana works inside for a two, but it's no good. Bronco ball. Not very good possession for Queensboro. Aquino overthrows Murray. Queensboro ball. Bronx can't afford the turnovers. As Santana Canoy goes in. Kanoi well rested, had nearly 12 minutes on the bench. Went out with 17.02 to play. And the pass, loose ball. Queensboro will keep it. Nobody was able to save it in. They say it was last touch by the Lady Broncos. And it's thrown to Murray. Murray lays it in. 23-12. And now pressure, and David Chambers calls timeout. Thirty-second timeout. David Chambers didn't want the five-second violation and the turnover. So what we bring to you live in effect? <laughs> uh, you got that? You got that? Yeah. It's the QCC Tigers versus the Bronx community. What do they call? So after that word from Preston Baker, 4.59 to go in the first half, Queensboro leading Court press put on by Bronx, and it's Kanoi with it. Number no 10 second violation in the women's game. So not as much urgency here. Kanoi. Kanoi kick out. Down to nine on the shot clock. Trapped in the corner for a second. Kanoi, long pass. Santana's got to put it up. Two on the shot clock. And the shot is off. Rebounded by Irby, no good. Irby another rebound, loose ball. Kanoi puts it in. 25-12. It's gotta hurt Bronx, they pawn the full court press. Queensboro wastes 28 seconds. They put up a shot and it's no good and then they can't corral a rebound. And Queensboro ends up with two points. Murray, 
Guarded by Irby. Aquino goes inside. And a foul is called on Anne Marie Johnson, her second. One in one situation. Team foul number nine against Queensboro. Only one for Bronx. Free throw is good by Aquino, who has the first point. It's 25 13. His print just goes in for Santana. Makes both, it's 25-14. And more pressure put on by the Lady Broncos. Prentice. Prentice. Nice pass, Johnson puts it in. That's how you beat a full court press. It's 27-14 as Anne Marie Johnson has her first points of the night. Queensborough's lead is back up to 13. Moreover, pursued Blanco to the basket. Couldn't put it in. Put back, no good. Davis, no good again. And back out. Blanco puts up a three. No good. Tipped and Queensborough with it. Kanoi. Kanoi going to the basket. Couldn't put it in. Bronx ball. Aquino to Blanco. Blanco. Nice pass. Murray couldn't put it in. Tipped. Loose ball. And Queensboro has it. Got lucky when Blanco went to the basket and missed. Moore had over pursued. Blanco went to the basket. One of the Queensboro players had to come over and play help defense, and when Blanco's shot was missed, another Lady Bronco was there for the rebound, which was all because of the over-pursuit. Luckily, Davis couldn't put in the shot from point-blank range. Prentice puts in a three-pointer, and it's 30-14. Prentice with eight points. Biggest lead of the night, 16. Murray, kick out. Blanco tries to answer back, can't. And a foul is called against the Lady Broncos. First foul on Santa Bria. Skanoi gets to play from the bench. Two minutes to play in a quick first half. Queensboro up 30-14. Moore puts up a three. No good. Long pass is intercepted by Moore. Queensboro with numbers the other way. Kanoi to Prentice. Down low, Johnson couldn't put it in. QCC can't take advantage of the fast break opportunity. Lady Broncos the other way. Blanco is called for traveling. Queensboro ball with 132 to go. Kanoi walking it up. 80 seconds to play in the first half. Prentice, long pass, Moore. Jumper is good. Quinasha Moore makes it 32-14. Blanco couldn't finish. Queensboro will keep it with 104 remaining in the first half and 28 on the shot clock. And Kanoi again will get the play from the bench and let a little time run off. They're also going to have a two for one opportunity. Except they're already down at 12 on the shot clock. Moore to Kanoi. Prentice. They're down to three. Two. Kanoi. Irby's got to put it up and it's no good. I don't know why they waited 18 seconds just to cross half court. 
Their offense is clicking just fine. Murray goes to the basket and lays it in. 32-16. And now they'll hold for the final shot. 15 seconds to go. Prentice to Johnson. Long two is no good and there's still nine seconds for the Lady Broncos. They shot too early. And now Irby with the steal, two seconds. Irby for three, no good. More, it would have counted if it went in, it did not. What a strong half for the Lady Tigers. And Preston Baker likes what he sees. At halftime, Queensboro leads Bronx 32-16. Second half about to begin, Queensboro leading 32-16. Lady Broncos looking to make a comeback. Or else they'll remain in last place and Kanoi with the steal. Kanoi can finish, Prentice the rebound and her shot is short, rebounded by Murray. Queensboro can't convert and now Aquino back the other way. Aquino can't finish, loose ball. Queensboro with it, Kanoi in the corner. And then throws it to Murray. Blanco to the basket, couldn't finish. Aquino, loose ball. And stepped out of bounds. First 39 seconds of the second half. The video will not be sent to the Basketball Hall of Fame, but Queensboro has the ball. Langley walks it up. Queensboro leading by 16. Prentice back to Langley. Kanoi. Langley. And a steal. Queensboro doesn't need to be turning it over. Murray. Davis puts it in off glass. Tylesha Davis has her first points. It's 32 18, and Queensboro calls timeout. David Chambers calls a 30 second timeout. Not happy with the sloppy play as Lady Tigers are showing in the first minute of the second half. Don't need to give easy baskets to the Lady Broncos. Let them beat you. Queensboro playing well though. They're actually coming off a 32 point loss at Westchester. 71-39. Irby inbounding and Langley will bring it up. Langley guarded by Murray. Kanoi hands off to Prentice. Johnson, shot is long, rebounded by Irby. Kanoi, they have a new 30. Prentice puts up a three, and it's off. Took that five seconds into the shot clock. They could be working for better shots. Davis makes a move on Langley and puts it in. And Davis with more two more points and it's 32-20. All four points in this half have been scored by the Bronx. 
I would say one thing that stands out that Bronx has done very well is they've stayed out of foul trouble and a steal. Murray going to the basket. And Prentice, good defense to knock it away from behind. But the Lady Broncos will keep it. And Bronx is staying out of foul trouble. And they only have six players and they've only committed two team fouls. Bronx could cut it to, to a single digit game with a three pointer here. And Blanco puts up a three and hits. And it's 32-23. Blanco in double digit scoring. Seven nothing, Lady Broncos is half. They also scored the last two points of the first half. All of a sudden it's a nine point game. Langley puts up a two, it's no good. Rebounded by Kanoi. Prentice, long jumper, is good. Giselle Prentice hits. Prentice in double digit scoring. Lead us back into double digits, 34-23. Murray tried backing down Irby. Aquino going to the basket and is fouled. Remember Queensboro had a bit of trouble in the Kingsboro game. They built a 17 point lead. And Kingsboro came back to take the lead before Queensboro won 57-53. First free throw is short. Queensboro may have fallen asleep at the wheel a little bit. Gotten comfortable with their 16 point lead. As Ludesi Gonzalez goes in and Marie Johnson will go to the bench. Aquino splits the free throws, it's 34, I think it's 32-24. 34-24, excuse me, 17 minutes to go. And traveling is called. Ball back to the Lady Broncos. If they don't score next time down, David Chambers may call another timeout. He has three fulls remaining. Murray. Murray. Nice pass to Aquino who lost a handle on it. Queensboro ball. And Blanco called for the foul. She bumped Irby. Kanoi to Langley. Kanoi. Prentice. Langley, shot fake and the jumper is no good. Rebounded by Irby. Shot off glass, no good. Loose ball, Langley to Prentice for three. It's good. Giselle Prentice from downtown and it's 37-24. Murray, foul is called against Queensboro. Foul is on Irby, two shot foul. DeRay Murray's first is good. 37-25. Lane violation against Murray. She knew the shot was no good when it left her hands and she left early. Shooter can't move until the ball hits the rim. Langley, Queensboro leading by 12. Gonzalez to Kanoi. Irby thought about it, then thought better. Langley, pass is thrown away. Miscommunication. Lady 
Lady Bronco ball. DeRay Murray. Murray, tough shot is no good. She was off balance. Kanoi running on the sideline, then slowed down. Good defense, good stop defense. And then Kanoi gets right past Murray. Bounce pass, Langley jumpers, an air ball. Gonzalez threw it right into the rim. Kanoi will go to the line for two. Lady Broncos with some trouble boxing out. First foul on Davis. Kanoi misses the first. Misses both, rebounded by Gonzalez, no good. Out of bounds, it stays with Queensboro. Pizza Peta calls timeout. It's a 30 second timeout. Not happy with the lack of rebounding. His team is showing. Trouble boxing out. <laughs> 15 11 remaining. Big CUNY Conference Showdown. CUNY playoffs are a month away, and they're at BMCC this year. And BMCC is in first place right now, looking for their first title since 2003. BMCC actually won the first six CUNY championships. Wasn't a whole lot of competition in that day. Gonzalez to Prentice. Langley to Kanoi, back to Langley, back to Kanoi. Kanoi launches a jumper, and it's off. Gonzalez couldn't put it in, got it back, or Kanoi got it. Bit of a helter skelter pace. Prentice long two is no good. Bronx ball. It's chased down and saved by the Lady Broncos. Langley chasing Blanco. Loose ball, tipped, and it stays with the Bronx. 18 on the shot clock. Murray. Go! 10 on the shot clock, Blanco to Aquino. Down to five for Davis, air ball. And that'll be a 30 second violation. Good team defense by Queensboro. And they have the ball with 14-20 remaining. Herbie to Kanoi. Langley being guarded by Murray. Kanoi thought about it. Herbie's jumper is no good. Loose ball and Queensboro has it. Kanoi. Prentice. Pass was tipped. Found its way to Gonzalez who puts it in. Second chance points for the Lady Tigers. It's 39-25 as Isaac Colon is getting ready to go in for the Bronx. Murray. Murray being guarded by Irby. Santa Brea sets the pick. Pass intended for Santa Brea is thrown away. Langley couldn't get there in time and it's a good thing because it was last touched by a Bronco. Queensboro ball with 13.28 to go. This Tylesha Davis goes to the bench. Langley to Kanoi. Good passing and Kanoi's three is good. 
Shantown and Kanoi from downtown and it's 42-25. Ten two run for the Lady Tigers. Thirteen minutes to go. Good defense by Irby. No basket. Offensive foul. There was a push off, and that's the second foul on DeRay Murray. Langley, Gonzalez to Kanoi, Herbie, Herbie shot is off, it'll be Bronco Ball, one with the 17 point lead and under 13 minutes to play when Queensboro starts spreading the court and running some time off the clock, take 20-25 seconds off the clock per possession, like to shorten the game. Murray going to the basket. The shot is blocked by Kanoi. And Langley pushing it for Queensboro. Good defense by Santa Brea. Langley to Santana for three. And it's long. Santa Brea corrals it for the Bronx. And then Irby forces a tie up. Queensboro keeps it with 27 on the shot clock. Irby gets it to Gonzalez. Ref will make them do it again. Nobody knows what the call was. Santana puts up a three, and it's good. Crystal Santana extends the lead to 20. It's 45-25. 12 minutes to play. Bronx needs to make something happen. They gotta do it now. And that's not making anything happen. And then they basically tackle Langley and they get the tie-up call. And at the other end when they were trying to inbound, the delay of game was called. It's just a warning. Santa Bria inbounding. Underneath. And that's another tie up, ball to Queensboro. Langley to Gonzalez. Langley to Santana, going baseline. Shot is off the side of the board. Murray going to the basket. Couldn't finish. And Kanoi going sideline. And a foul is called. Second foul on Santa Bria. That was the team's fourth foul of the second half. Santana, floater is good. Crystal Santana in double digit scoring off the bench. It's 47-25. Now 11 minutes to play. Broncos can feel this one getting away from them. Murray. To Blanco, who's been quiet this second half. Blanco is fouled. Two shot foul. Third foul on Langley.
as Moore goes in for Kanoi. No good, Queensboro ball. Irby. Lost in the crowd of Broncos. And it's a turnover. Blanco ahead of the pack. And she lays it in, 47-27. And another steal. Aquino takes it to the basket and a blocking foul is called. Fourth foul on Langley, one more and she's done. First free throw is good. 47-28. Aquino hits both, it's 47-29. Full court pressure. Irby to Prentice who just came in for Langley. Prentice. Santana to Prentice inside. Gonzalez lost it. Queensboro trying to keep Bronx around. A few turnovers in a row. Murray with the ball. Murray lost it. And Gonzalez gets it to Prentice. And Aquino breaks up the pass intended for Irby. Now she tries a long pass, it's intercepted by Santana. Santana slows it down. Prentice, Santana for three. No good, rebounded by Aquino, lost it to Irby. Irby couldn't put it in. Now the Broncos back the other way. Blanco, long two, no good, rebounded by Moore. And Prentice, Queensboro should slow it up. 9.20 remaining, they lead by 18. Prentice bounce pass, Gonzalez is fouled. Gonzalez will go to the line for two shots. And Pete Cepeda calls timeout. Bronx timeout at 9.15 remaining. As his Lady Broncos go to the bench. Queensboro leads 47-29. And Bronx knows they don't have a lot of time left. They only have two CUNY games left. And they're in last place. Bit of a fall off from the conference last year, which Kingsboro won. Queensboro was the regular season CUNY champs. BMCC, which made the championship game last year, is now in first place. As I said before, they won six in a row from 98 through 03. And as I also mentioned, the competition was not too stiff. This one championship game they won against Kingsboro by the score of 57 to 5. Remember, Rodney Carr was the coach for those six championship teams at BMCC. He later won two more at Hostos. Some run Rodney Carr had eight CUNY championships. What a job Veronica Sherman is doing for the Lady Panthers now. Gonzalez makes the first, it's 48-29. 
Looking to push the lead back to 20. Cannot, but it's rebounded by Santana. Prentice is called for traveling. Murray, long pass, and Blanco goes to the basket. She couldn't finish. They caught the Queensboro defense snapping, but they couldn't take advantage. Prentice, that was a good pass by Murray. Some good aggressive play by Blanco. They did everything right but score. Moore to Prentice, and another traveling is called with 8.44 to go. Bronx ball, Santa Bria inbounding. Irby defending Murray. Screen set. Murray back out, Aquino. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Santa Bria's jumper is long and rebounded by Prentice. And a carry is called on Prentice. Another Queensboro turnover. Ton of Tiger turnovers in the second half. Bronx will have the ball again. Murray goes inside, couldn't finish. And Prentice with it for Queensboro. She's looking to get it to Santana and does. And Santana's three is no good. Out of bounds, it stays with Queensboro. Last touch by Aquino. 8.02 remaining. Moore inbounding. Gonzalez. Can't hit, and a foul is called against Queensboro. I really think they should start spreading it out and running some more time off the clock. It's not just the turnovers or missed shots, but they're not taking time off the clock. They are under eight minutes to play though, and Bronx is having trouble scoring. Just 29 points so far. Blanco being guarded by Prentice and a foul is called on Prentice. 16 foul against Queensboro. One more and Bronx will be shooting. And they don't need to send the Lady Broncos to the line. As Santana Canoy goes in for Prentice. Blanco to Aquino. Saved it in. Bronx will keep it. Gets it into Murray. Blanco puts up the jumper. It's no good. Offensive rebound and traveling is called. Ball goes to Queensboro with 7.35 remaining. Pressure put on by the Broncos. And Moore up ahead to Santana. Gonzalez up and under and then 50-29. Murray. Sometimes there are different reasons why you press. Sometimes it's to slow a team down and sometimes it's to speed them up. And Murray's jumper is off. Aquino overthrows Blanco. And nothing but Queensboro players there. Irby can't finish. Out of bounds. With 6.53 to go. Let's see if the Broncos keep pressing. Even when Queensboro got the two points, it only took about six seconds off the clock. 
and sometimes you'd rather give up the two points and have the 30 seconds. Santana with the offensive rebound. Lady Broncos, a small team. Not a lot of height. Which leads to a lot of trouble on the boards. Loose ball and another turnover. Murray taking it strong. And she threw it right into the rim. Kanoi back the other way. And Kanoi couldn't finish. And a foul was called. That was the third foul on Santa Bria. Moore gets it into Santana. Davis got a hand in on it. Santana saves it. Irby. Good defense by Blanco, who gets it to Murray. And a foul is called. Questionable foul call. We'll send the Lady Broncos to the line. First is off, Queensboro ball. Prentice up ahead to Santana, and Santana misses, Gonzalez puts it in. 52-29. Under six minutes to play. Queensboro in a 2-3 zone. And Murray, jumper is too long. Blanco's three is good. 52-32. Full court pressure. Get out, get out, get out. Now the Broncos back up. Queensboro leading by 20, 5.40 to go. Loose ball. And a tie up. Ball will go to the Bronx. Blanco gets past Derby. Shot is off and rebounded by Moore. Kanoi being guarded by Santa Bria. Queensboro could take it under five minutes if they want. Kanoi. And a foul was called with 5.09 remaining. Be a one in one situation. And Pete Cepeda calls timeout. Timeout Broncos with 509 remaining. Queensboro leads 52 32. Full timeout. That's a full.
Kanoi misses the front end of the one and one. Murray to Blanco. Blanco throws up a tough one, rebounded by Moore. Kanoi up ahead to Prentice. And Prentice backs up and slows it down a bit. Kanoi. Kanoi kick out. Irby. Shot is no good. Kanoi is fouled. That'll be a one and one. Solon Mar Aquino goes in. And it's Isaac Cologne who will go to the bench. Kanoi makes the first, it's 53 32. Quinique Santabri is still in the game with four fouls. One more and she's done. And the Lady Broncos would be down to five players. Kanoi makes both. It's 54-32. Blanco. Back outside. Jumper is no good. Tipped. Queensborough with it. Quinasha Moore up ahead to Irby. And Irby will dribble out. Kanoi to Prentice. Moore to Prentice who puts up a three and airballs it with 17 on the shot clock. Murray, back outside, Santa Bria to Blanco for three. No good. Loose ball, Blanco with it. And now Aquino. Her shot is no good, rebounded by Kanoi, and Kanoi is fouled. With 3.51 remaining. That was on Aquino, and it'll be a one and one. Slayler Lagagner goes in for Queensboro. Quinasha Moore goes to the bench. First free throw rattles out. Bronx ball. 3.45 to go. Queensboro 3.40 away from their fourth win of the season. As Prentice has it. Shows off some dribbling skills. As the whole coaching staff tells her to slow it down. Three and a half minutes to go. Kanoi. Prentice. Being guarded by Murray. Ten on the shot clock. Pass is stolen. They did take 20 seconds off the clock though. Turnover. Queensboro ball. 3-10 to play. Bronx about three minutes away from falling to one in 12. Under three minutes to play, Queensboro up by 22. Ball stays with Queensboro with 15 on the shot clock. Kanoi to Prentice for three. And that's an air ball. Out of bounds ball to the Lady Broncos.
Bronx only has one more CUNY game remaining as that shot is off. And Prentice has it, and that's at Hostos. So this will drop the Lady Broncos to one and six. As Prentice's floater is short. Alana Porter steps out of bounds with it. 2.20 to go. Queensboro will improve to three and two. Now have three games remaining. But this ensures that Queensboro will find its way into the CUNY playoffs. As Murray's shot is no good. Queensboro will play at BMCC. Don't know against who yet. And Kingsboro and Bronx will battle it out for four and five. The best Bronx could do is two and six. And Irby knocks it away. It stays with the Bronx with 146 to go. And Joanne Rivera will see her first action of the game for Queensboro. As Nyasia Irby goes to the bench. Blanco, Aquino, and it looks like Bronx will be held under their season average of 40 points per game. It scored 16 in the first, and so far they have 16 in the second. Still 85 seconds to play. Lagagner to Prentice. See if they try to have Lagagner and Rivera shoot and get in the scoring column. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Kanoi with it. And Kanoi, shot is off. 105 to play. Blanco keeps it in under one minute. Queensboro with an impressive win. Closest Bronx Scott was nine when it was 32 23 after a big deficit. Lead reached the Mid 20s. This will be Queensboro's final offensive possession. Eight on the shot clock. Kanoi to Prentice. Prentice misses. Bronx ball with 26 and 310 seconds to go. Long two is an air ball. And Queensboro will run the rest of the time off the clock. Queensboro improves to three and two in the CUNY conference. Bronx will fall to one and six. This is QCC alum David Russell. The final score from Queensboro, the Lady Tigers 54 and the Lady Broncos 32.